Hello guys, welcome back to the show. So today we're going to talk about the fragrance community. Before we do that, I've made a little song for you now. I've been really enjoying doing the live streams lately on my fragrance channel, Friday and Saturday night and Thursday night now every week on the Mr. Smelly channel. Do you know what? A nice thing that you get from the live streams is some people give you a super chat. They pay to have their super chat on the screen. Our community is so toxic and dead now. Some people even don't think you should be allowed to get a super chat. They think it's e-begging. You know what? I wanted to record a song to say a big thank you for all the super chats people have very kindly given me. Here it is. You didn't have to super chat like you did, but you did, but you did. Super chat like you did, but you did, but you did. And I thank you all my life. I've been shortchanged without your super chat. It's a crying shame. But now you did it, and you made my day. You helped to make my YouTube channel pay. You didn't have to super chat like you did, but you did. Super chat like you did, but you did, but you did. And I thank you. Guys, yes, hello, welcome back. So today, um, bad news for you guys. I'm afraid the fragrance community is dead, and I'm going to tell you why. So. We often hear about the fragrance community, but I'm afraid to say in 2022, and probably for some time, it doesn't really exist anymore. It kind of used to exist. I'm gonna talk about that. That's why I've got some people in my thumbnail. So we've got Katie Puckrick, Drac Doc, and Mark Robes 08. Absolutely no slight on them being linked with the deadness of the fragrance community. What I'm talking about is back when they were prolific, let's go back to about 2014, something like that, roughly speaking. We had people making great videos who also had a different full-time job and did it purely for the love of it. And that was really nice. Katie Puckrick, obviously a bit of a celebrity, bit of a different case there, but she had a really nice channel. I'm sure, I'm pretty sure she wasn't sponsored in any way. It certainly wasn't obvious. It wasn't apparent. I don't think she was. And she just really liked fragrances and did a channel about them for fun, as far as I can tell, okay? I mean, maybe she does a little bit of fragrance promo stuff now, but it, it was a fun thing. It was all about her passion for fragrances. And she made great videos, which just it reviewed one fragrance and talked about it in a really unique and original way. Lovely. Mark Robes 08 doesn't upload anymore, hasn't uploaded for months. And his, his views were going down and down because he didn't keep up with what YouTube wants, unfortunately, I guess. Now, this is not having a go at him. Great reviewer, very, very high level in, of integrity, used to do very long reviews on a single fragrance, went into great detail about it. Uh, he had a, he had a day job, I think, a successful career. He, he, I mean, he may have had the odd little sponsorship with Fragrance X or whatever, but he, he wasn't massively monetized and making loads of money. I don't think out of his YouTube channel, at least not at first, and, and for many years at the beginning. And you know what? You got to respect the guy. He really cared about fragrances. He, he insisted on wearing a fragrance loads of times. He used to release his summer top ten list in the middle of autumn. Well, that's not very clever, is it? Because summer's over and people want an autumn list or a winter list now. They don't want to know what you wore in summer. But give him credit. He did that because he was like, well, no, this is what I actually wore during this summer. So I can't record that video till summer's over and I've had time to think about my top 10 ones. So he had real integrity, but maybe it wasn't the best way to play the YouTube game. So we had people like that that were the, the core of our community. That was one of the biggest channels back then, you know, 2014, 2013, that kind of time. Guys, by the way, do not forget, I've got a code for you. Mr. 15 gets you 15% off at myfragrancesamples.com, the best fragrance sampling site in the United States. They also ship to Canada and Puerto Rico. Link in the description. Dave and the Fragrance Bros, great channel, really loved what they did. Passionate, had full-time jobs. Same thing, Dracdoc, really great uh, channel. He used to, I think he actually, when he did a top 10 compliments or what people think about for what ladies like, he actually went into his office and asked his colleagues and filmed some of them. And people like Mickers, my, Dan My Mickers now sadly passed away. And they were really, really good channels. And you know what? Those days are long gone. I'll tell you why it's happened now. It's because YouTube 
fragrance stuff has got more professionalized. So now we've got big, the big YouTubers now, of course, Jeremy Fragrance. It's 100% a business. Pretty much, I would probably guess, you know, I don't know. People like uh, Curly Fragrance, Curly Sense, Gent Sense, the bigger channels, big beer business. It's a, <laughs> clues in the name. It's a business and there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not, I'm not knocking them. Good for them. But the idea that they are really, or Demi Rawling, they're not really massive. But people complain, oh, they're not really part of the community. They don't care about the community. Well, why should they? I'm afraid things have moved on. Things get more professional. The views and view, uh, went up and up for channels. And people got to the point where, hey, you know what? If I can get a few sponsorship deals, a bit more AdSense money, blah, blah, blah. Yes, I could do this instead of working, uh, you know, d doing a milk round or, or, you know, working down a mine or whatever they did before. They could do this for a full-time job. And now people are upset about it. But I'll tell you who that... So I don't blame any of the big reviewers for killing the fragrance community. It's got more big. It's got to be more of a business. There are still loads of little small bits of people in Facebook groups. But what you've got now is little small groups sometimes cliques of people who get on and are in the same Facebook group together or maybe people in some kind of WhatsApp group or there's horrible toxic groups as well where there's a troll group and that's what our community has now become reduced to I'm afraid uh, and, and that's the reality of the matter. So the fragrance community is any kind of single entity that's got anything in common and, and has shared interest or should look out for each other it's gone you know back in the old days people like Drakdok I don't know specifically that they did, and Robes08. And uh, we had a meetup, for example, with the reviewers in the UK in, I think, uh, late 2016. Myself, I met Greggy Boy 76 great channel, always did his reviews, nothing to do with making any money, doesn't upload load so much now. Um, there was a guy called Wasim from Handsome Smells, Raj from a channel which name keeps changing. But we just met up, we met up with Chad from Gentleman's Journey. He'd come all the way to Can from Canada. To, uh, I'm not sure exactly just to visit us, but you know, he made the effort. It was nothing. It wasn't networking. It wasn't to make money. It wasn't really specifically to grow our channel. It was just to be nice and, and meet other people with a shared hobby. That would never happen now. Bigger, you know, myself and Greg at that time were the, some of the couple of the biggest YouTubers in the UK. These kind of meetings wouldn't happen now. They'd be all about networking and what's in it for me. And I, let's meet up in, in order to grow our channel or do business. And, and I'm not knocking that. That's just the reality of the world. The worst actual thing in the fragrance community that's even more awful is the people at the bottom of it who are toxic trolls. So you've got so much negativity and hatred towards people like Jeremy Fragrance, people like Demi Rawling, I dare say people like Curly Fragrance, Curly Sense, Gent Sense. They get so much horrible stuff said about them just for trying to make their way in the world and do well. Even medium to small size, not that great channels like mine get haters People complaining that I'm begging. If I even ask on a live show, I put together a live show, invite guests, spend three hours on camera hosting it and talking to people. And I get a few little things where people, a super chat, someone pays to have their comment highlighted in blue on the screen. And we'll read it out because you can't keep up with 1,500 comments in a night and read them out. That's silly. And of course, yes, it's nice for me if I make after YouTube takes its 30%. 30 English pounds, maybe, from a three-hour live stream. And people are saying... Don't super chat him. It's not right. This is how toxic our community is. So it's really the people at the bottom, the snipers, the nasty people are the most toxic, horrible, viperous bit of the fragrance community, a, a toxic cancer that's eating away at, for, at the fragrance community. And quite rightly, people now just pick the people they like and hang out with and, and, and try and stay away from the rest. And, and that's what you've got to do, guys. A word quickly on Carlos, the Brooklyn fragrance lover. We lost him a year ago. He he had a little bit of sponsorship and stuff going on and made a bit out of it, no doubt. But I think right up to close to the end of his life, he worked in a shoe shop still. And he really did this out of passion. If you could mark one moment, really, as the, the final death knell of the fragrance community, morbid to talk about him. It was the passing of, of Carlos, the Brooklyn fragrance lover, in, in February 2021. That was, If you want to draw a line, so that's when the fragrance community was dead. He was the last vestige of the good old days in my book. So R.I.P. R.I.P. Rest in peace, Carlos. The good news is we can still have groups of friends. Um, you can call them a community, if you like, who come together. So come together with me, guys. Anyone from any country, anywhere in the world, male or female. I want you to see you in the comments on my Friday and Saturday night live streams. And on the Thursday one that I do with Chris from Scentland, a vintage-themed one. We've got a, a classic fragrance thing on Facebook I've just started. Not for money in any way. It's called the Classic Fragrance Lounge. Search for it, Mr. Smelly's Classic Fragrance Lounge. That's nice. People share the hobby. We don't buy and sell. We just share our passion for, oh, wow, I look, I got vintage uh, Chanel Egoist. Oh, look, I got Balenciaga Porom, Monskino Porom. That's really nice. So there are still corners of loveliness and people who have really good channels like AC Smells Good, 
Chris from Scentland, Kellen Sense of South Jersey, female channels that I, I escaped my mind at the moment. But they were really nice channels where people review fragrances based on their love and passion. So it's not all bad news. But if you think there's a community anymore, forget it, guys. The big guys, they don't care about the community. And I, I don't blame them. It's business. M business is business, guys. Money is money. And these people, you know, they're not going to waste time being all into the community or inviting small channels to collaborate with them when there's nothing in it for them. That's the way of the world, I'm afraid. If you'd like to see an extra video from me every week, sign up to my Patreon group. It's only $2 a month. There's a link in the description. And we have loads of interesting stuff going on in there. I do a lot of fragrance stuff, of course, but I also talk about some other things to do with my life. It's really fun, and I hope to see you in there. As I say, you can follow the link in the description or just go to Patreon and type in Mr. Smelly 1977 and then you've got at the bottom, horrible, toxic, nasty, bitter, insane, basement dwelling people saying horrible things about other people who are a teeny, teeny bit more successful than them, which ain't saying much. It's shockingly toxic, guys. Let me know what you think about that. I'm going to do a live stream where I'll have this as a theme tonight on my channel. If you're watching this after I review it, I'll do it on Friday. Check it out. It's the Friday Fragrance live stream, 10.30 p.m. Every week, UK time, that's 5.30 p.m. New York City time. And I do the same time on Saturday and an earlier time Thursday. Guys, if you enjoy this video, if you like what I'm saying, or even if you dislike it, but you'd like to watch it and hate me, please subscribe to the channel. It means you won't miss future videos. You'll get them in your feed or whatever. And it does help me in a small way. Thank you, guys. Guys, that's all I've got to say. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Guys, that's all I've got to say for today. Remember, whatever you're doing in life, let's project. And sometimes life may stink, but we can always smell good. See you in the next one. Bye.